So here is a hutch I got from a client of mine and my dad and I are gonna restore it, make it look all brand new and beautiful. So stay tuned to see how we do that. So the first thing that you wanna do when you restore furniture is take off all the hardware. So here is my dad doing that right now. So coming up at the end of this clip, you'll see we kind of struggled a little bit getting some of the hardware off. Um, a lot of it was stripped out, so we ended up having to drill out one of the screws. Now here I am sanding down all my surfaces with a 120 grit sandpaper. Now I'm using my white lightning cleaner to clean up all the sanding dust. Um, it is by Dixie Bell. Um, but after you're done with that, you should take water and wipe it down once more. All right, so now I'm taking Bondo and I'm repairing these little scratches and nicks all over the bottom of the hutch and that will just make for a seamless finish. The reason that I use Bondo as opposed to like wood filler is because wood filler sinks into whatever you're putting it into and with Bondo it does not and it actually dries way harder. Usually on every single one of the hutches I do, I take the back off so I can wallpaper it. Now here I am applying the wallpaper to the back of the hutch and I have found that um, getting better quality wallpaper is really the way to go because it just applies so much better. Now here I am priming all my surfaces and you want to always make sure that you prime your piece that you're redoing because it just ensures that your paint will adhere and it makes a seamless finish and there's so many reasons. As you can tell, I don't use a spray tint, and the reason why is because honestly, I just don't even really care about anything out in my garage getting paint on it. All right, so here I am putting the first coat of my color on. So after two coats of paint, I am now putting a top coat of polyurethane on and satin just to make sure it is scratch resistant. All right, so now I am putting the back of the hutch back on and I have my little helpers here helping me nail it back in. interrupt this voiceover to show what I use on the inside of my drawers and it is Dixie Belle's Big Mama's Butter. It just basically makes your wood look really good and makes everything smell amazing. So I just take a dirty rag and rub it in the inside here. And you can use this in place of a wax um, to seal your paint. So really you can use it for anything. Use it on the sides. All right, so the hutch is done. We put all the hardware back on and now here I am staging it for pictures. All right guys, and this is the finished hutch. I am loving it so much. 
and thank you so much for watching this video.